What's up, everybody? So glad you're here back with me in the garage. I hope everybody's been having a good week, and I hope you've been getting out in the garage and working on your personal project. Today, I'm out in my garage working on my personal project, so woohoo! <laughs> Today, I'm actually going to start pulling more stuff off of the car. Yes, more stuff is coming off. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off all the chassis, or the steering and suspension components here off of the chassis. Uh, we'll get all of that stuff off. I'll take some of those, take pretty much all the small parts to work with me and end up sandblasting all of them and then spraying an epoxy primer on all of it, a black epoxy primer that has UV protection in it. It'll be able to hold up to the road salt that we have here in Utah, even though I probably won't be driving this much in the winter. After we get those parts painted, primed, whatever, we'll come in here and we'll clean up the frame rails as best as we can. And I will prep the frame rails from the front of the frame horns to the torque boxes for paint. Because I'm not going under the car. I don't really care about under the car right now. But when, you know, if I take the car somewhere to a show or whatever and I pop the hood and you look down in there, I want it to be somewhat decent inside the engine bay. So <clears throat> it's not a crazy high-end paint job, but it is something that I want to last. And that's why I will sandblast parts and not just wire wheel them because eventually it'll let go. And flaking paint, ugh, can't do it. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's start tearing this front end apart all the way. You know what the the best part of taking parts off old parts off of your car is you get to replace it with new ones I'm so excited so let me tell you I actually got a whole new steering linkage kit for this car it comes with an idler arm the center link your two tie rod ends it comes with all four ball joints and your sway bar end links so once I get those parts in, I'll actually take those to work as well, sandblast those, epoxy those, make them look pretty. Let's see if we can break her loose. You would think with all the grease that's caked on there, it would come right off. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> this is gonna be another one of those videos where I'm in here grunting like an idiot. But hey, that's all right. Sometimes you gotta laugh at yourself. Okay. Now we should be able to get our steering box out. Okay. What are the odds that I can uh, break these loops with a 3 8 ratchet? Oh, pretty good actually. <laughs> that actually makes me kind of happy. But we're only 33% of the way there. We need to do too long. Oh yeah. All right. Sweet. All right, last one. Here we go. See if we can get. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Here we go. Anyway, see if our old friend the 10 ounce can 
get her out. <laughs> Dude, this hammer, I tell you what. Why buy anything else? Here we go. Two for two. Two more bolts, and the steering linkage is going to drop to the ground. Oh, it's going. Yeah. Yes. Now we can start pulling the brakes apart. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and drain out the, uh, the, the uh, brake fluid. Got myself a little Tupperware dish here. Oh, God. <laughs> drain away. Hopefully this Tupperware holds it all. <laughs> These brakes are brand new. Calipers, pads, everything, brand new. Drove, it or drove this car around my work two, well, probably about five or six times, and that's it. Did a couple burnouts with it, and that was it. <laughs> we'll just take these and we'll probably just give them a light blast, maybe, and then we'll paint them black. Make them look pretty so they won't rust. Should probably pull those out. <laughs> Oh yeah, brand new brake pads. All right, so first things first, see if we can get this dust cover off of here. Trusty 10 ounce. Let's go ahead and give it a little pry on that side, kind of work it off all the way around. We're gonna even paint, we're gonna paint this. We'll paint the hats of the rotors, the edges of the rotors, everything. Just to make it look really, really nice, really clean. This is literally one of those things that I want to take my time with and clean everything up and paint it all to look really nice. So if I ever pull tires off or whatever, do a brake job, all these parts are really clean. They're not greasy. They're not rusty. I hate rusty old cars. One thing that I like to do is I'll get out a paper towel or a piece of paper or something, and I will take every piece off. So starting with this here nut, the nut will come out here and sit on the end. And then it looks like we may have a washer with a flat spot or, oh, no, we're bringing the whole bearing out. Okay, that's good, that's fine. So we got this bearing. I will note which way the taper goes. It's not super complicated to remember which way the taper should go, but it's a good thing to note. I'll set that next, okay? And it looks like this will come right off. Yep, simple as that. And then there's a bearing in the back of the uh, hub. So what we'll do next, now that we have our brake rotor off and our bearings out, we have our spindle exposed, we'll go ahead and get this backing plate removed. And then once that's out of the way, we'll go ahead and get the sway bar out of the way. And then we'll start separating the control arms from the knuckle and start pulling our spring and shock out. And then we'll start getting our control arms off. Oh so real quick, same deal with this side. We're just gonna go ahead and get the caliper off and get the rotor off.
Well, I was gonna start taking the sway bar off, and I thought I'd spray some PB on it to get it loosened up, and then um, kind of get set up to start taking it off. And I thought I'd give it a couple turns. Well, I broke the nut or the bolt, so this sway bar is loose. Now let's see if we can break the other side. Try not to pull the card off the jacks. Oh, this one's actually twisty. This is difficultly a workout. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the dust, what looks like dust. It's not dust, it's smoke. It's that hot. <laughs> the PB's. That's all smoke right there. That's how hot that bolt got. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's see if I can get this shock out of here without snapping the end of it off. Oh, oh. All right. oh, it's one of those deals. You gotta grab it by the top and undo the bottom. Oh, gosh. Hey. Croissant for the ween. They crust and wrenches have their place <laughs> sometimes. It just so happens that I'm really, really struggling to get this shock out. <laughs> there, the shock has a stud that comes up through the frame rail here, and the top of the stud is threaded, and it has a notch in it to where you can put a pair, uh, put a wrench on it, and then hold the stud and turn the nut out. Well. I ended up rounding the top of the stud off, so I really can't hold on to it anymore. And I've gotten the nut to a point where if I have a pair of vice grips or something holding on top of the stud, that the nut's hitting the vice grips. <laughs> so what I need to be able to do is grab the bottom side of the, the uh, stud. And um, unfortunately, this mount right here, where you would adjust your camber, is in the way for me being able to really get a good grip on that shock stud. So what I'm gonna do instead is actually undo this top ball joint from the uh, steering knuckle. That way I can swing the upper control arm kind of up and out of the way. And then hopefully I'll be able to get a pair of vice grips, a bigger pair of vice grips onto the shock shaft or shock stud and hold on to it and be able to spin the nut off the rest of the way. And then that way I can get the dang shock out and we can get the spring out. And then we can get the upper and lower control arm off of this car. This really has turned into a big pain in the butt, but we're not gonna let that stop us. We're gonna keep on trucking. We're gonna get this done, I promise. And you will too. Spring's a lot bigger than you think it would be. I'm shocked. Okay. And there's the upper control arm. 
sick. Ah, hopefully I can get this dang shop out of here. And this thing is caked in the oil. And it works really good too. <laughs> well, turn. That's that's a start. But it is very possible that the uh, bolt is seized into place. I hope not. But <laughs> wouldn't be the first time it's happened to me. I don't know about you guys, but my arm's starting to get tired. <laughs> um, unfortunately, suspension components like this really, really like to put up a fight, especially if they've been in for a really, really, really long time. <clears throat> so I think what we're going to do is we're going to end the video here. I'm not going to show you me pulling the other side off. You already saw me do it on the this side. I don't want to bore you with, you know doing it twice so i'm gonna go ahead and keep beating this guy out i'm gonna go ahead and finish tearing that down in the next video this frame the front frame rails will be bare we'll be prepping them for paint um hopefully we'll have some painted suspension parts ready to go back on the car anyways i appreciate you guys for sticking with me and watching these videos um also if you guys have a project you're working on, you should let me know about it. I want to hear about what kind of cars you like, what kind of cars you're working on, whatever. It doesn't even have to be cars. Whatever you guys like to work on, let's hear about it. <laughs> I think that'd be really cool. Um, so yeah, again, thank you for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. And uh, there'll be more to come soon. Take care. We'll see you later.